breaking, Kaepernick issues sickening new demand, this is nasty. Few professional athletes have caused more outrage than former San Francisco 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick. Now that he is suing the NFL, Kaepernick has made incredible demands. The New York Post has reported that Kaepernick has demanded that NFL owners, including Jerry Jones and Robert Kraft, turn over their cell phone and email records. All of this comes as part of a deposition against Jones, Kraft, and Houston Texans owner Bob McNair. Kaepernick's lawsuit also includes Seattle Seahawks coach Pete Carroll and 49ers owner Jen York. The cell phone and email records of these men will be examined in order to see if there was a conspiracy to keep Kaepernick unemployed in the NFL. Such blackball tactics, which can be defined as collusion, are against NFL policy. In total, Kaepernick has filed grievances against 32 team owners. Kaepernick claims that his 2016 protest in support for Black Lives Matter, which has carried on into the 2017 season by many players, caused many owners to turn him into persona non grata. Kaepernick's case may have gotten extra ammunition this week when the Texans decided to hire quarterbacks TJ Yates and Matt McGloin rather than Kaepernick. Neither Yates or McGloin have done much in the NFL, while Kaepernick once took the 49ers to the Super Bowl. Kaepernick's national anthem protest last season sparked outrage among NFL fans and Republican politicians. As a result, NFL viewership and stadium attendance is dramatically down. Between 2016 and 2017, NFL ratings have dropped by 7 percent. Despite the NFL's excuses, most Americans know full well that this resistance to professional football is based on the anti-American actions of its players. Kaepernick's actions have also served to further inflame poor race relations in America, with the Center for the Study of Diversity and Democracy revealing that polls found that 8 out of 10 African Americans want Kaepernick to be named the leader of Black Lives Matter. All of this attention has been exploited behind the scenes by Kaepernick himself. Namely, the multimillionaire is currently the proud owner of a million-dollar book deal. One wonders what the ultimate aim of Kaepernick's complaint is. The quarterback has said that if he were hired he would stand for the national anthem. Therefore, is Kaepernick's main goal employment? Or, conversely, is Kaepernick seeking vindication? If he can prove that NFL owners conspired to deny him employment, he can then make political mileage out of the fact that powerful white men worked against an outspoken black man based solely on his politics. If Kaepernick cannot prove anything, nothing changes. Either way, Kaepernick has styled himself into a radical. A well-paid radical, but a radical nonetheless. Another question is this, if Kaepernick does play in the NFL again, will viewership continue to plummet? It seems likely that Kaepernick has made himself so radioactive that the NFL is better off keeping him on the unemployment line. Unfortunately for the NFL, even if the NFL takes a firm stance against Kaepernick, American audiences will not soon forget the national anthem protests, thus keeping NFL ratings in the basement. It's a lose-lose situation for professional football, football.